Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For this week's yoga workout, we are doing a warrior pose inspired flow. So it's gonna help to tone the body, to stretch, to energize, it's gonna leave you feeling good. You don't need anything for this class, just grab your mat and we will go and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to stay updated. I post out one new video every week. If one new video isn't enough, then you can follow the link below, which will take you to my subscription page where I post five new videos every single week. You can subscribe for £4.99 a month, or you can sign up for £50 for the entire year, and it works out at less than 1p a day, which is so good. So, without further ado, let's go and get started. Okay, my lovelies, we are gonna begin our class in our child's pose at the end of the mat. So take your time to just make your way down. Extending the arms and sinking the hips down to the heels. Let your forehead rest and just take a few deep clearing breaths before you begin. Inhaling in through the nose and maybe a big sigh out through the mouth. Starting to connect to the breath. Bringing all of your awareness inwards. Just find three more rounds here. And then allow your next inhale to bring you through into tabletop. Tucking the toes underneath, exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll just take a moment to pause in our down dog and just walk it out. So press the heels down one at a time. Bring little bends into the knees. Just working to find a little bit of length through the hamstrings. And then sending the gaze towards the hands. Step the right foot forward between the hands. Turn the left heel in. Press your palms together. Inhale. We're drawing up into warrior one. Hips square to the short side of the mat. We're gazing up towards the thumbs. Strong through that back leg and straight, but bend into your front knee. Bring the hands around your right foot and step into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze between the hands, right foot steps forward, same foot. Inhale, warrior one. Gaze up to the thumbs. Exhale, hands down, step into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Really moving with the breath. Two more gaze between the hands, right foot forward. Left heel turns in. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Step back into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more, gaze between the hands, right foot forward, left heel in. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga press up. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze between the hands, right foot forward, left heel turns in. Inhale, warrior one. This time we're gonna interlace the fingers together and just take the palms onto the back of the head. Press your head back into the hands and just squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pressing the elbows back, opening up through the chest. And slowly start to shift your weight forward 
As you extend your back legs, we're taking it into our warrior three. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together to keep your hands light on the back of the head. We're gonna do this six times. Exhale, draw your left elbow to your left knee, so curl up into a little ball. See if you can get it to touch. And then inhale to extend, straighten out into your warrior three. Exhale, round. Inhale to open. Find that point of focus on the mat. Exhale. And inhale, really squeezing the shoulder blades up at the top. Three more, exhale. You wanna feel that standing leg switching on, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more, exhale. And inhale. Release the hands and just step back with your left toes, opening up into your warrior two on your right side. So really widen your stance. Slide that back foot a little further away. Make sure that when you sink really deep that that knee is right above the ankle and not in front. Reach through the fingers. Find that stretch to the inside of the left hip and inner thigh. And then we're slowly just gonna start to pulse it out here. So we're slightly extending into that right knee and then lowering back down. And we're just gonna keep this going so we're not locking it all the way out. We're just bending and extending. We're gonna keep this going for another 20 and I'll just count for the last five. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, and this time just the heel lifts. Coming up onto the toes, keeping the body completely still, just moving that right heel. We've got 20. Strengthening the inner thigh and the calf. Keep those arms high, or in line with the shoulders even, but keep them lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep that right heel lifted, flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Gazing up towards that top middle finger, finding that deep stretch into that left hip. Drop the right heel down as you exhale, cartwheel your hands around your right foot, turn onto the left toes. Draw your right leg back, see if you can keep it lifted. Point the toes, we're gonna exhale through three-leg chaturanga. Inhale all the way into upward facing dog. And exhale downward facing dog. Well then we're changing sides to send the gaze to the hands. Left foot steps forward. Right heel turns in, press your palms together. Inhale, warrior one. Gaze into the thumbs. Hands down, step it into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, down dog. Gaze to the hands, left foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Step into high plank. 
On an exhale, take it down through Chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Gaze to the hands. We're keeping this flowing. Left foot forward. Right heel in. Warrior one, inhale. Hands down, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, down dog. Last one, gaze to the hands, left foot forward. Right heel in, warrior one, inhale. Hands down, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, down dog. Gaze between the hands, left foot forward. Right heel in, inhale, warrior one. Interlace the fingers together. We're gonna to take the palms to the back of the head. Inhale, just take a moment to pause and really open up through the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze the elbows back. And then start to shift your weight into your front foot. Maybe you can do it in one movement. Finding our warrior three. Find your balance. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Use your breath to help you. Exhale, we curl into a ball. Take your right elbow to touch your right knee. And then inhale to extend. Squeezing up at the top. Exhale to round. Inhale to open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, really lifting at the top. Inhale. Find one more, exhale. And inhale. Release the hands, step back with the right toes and just open into your warrior two on your left side. Reach through the fingers, find a really nice long stance. So we want to feel the stretch here. Check the knees in the same line as the toes. And we just start to pulse into that front knee. So we're not extending it all the way. We're just slightly bending and extending. Keeping the upper body nice and still, hands in line with our shoulders. We're gonna go for 20 and I'll count for the last five. Five, four, three, two, one, stay low, we've got our heel lifts. So we're lifting and lowering this left heel. Keeping the body nice and still, you've got 20. Keep those arms high. Hips are low. Five, four, keep lifting. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Keep that left heel off the mat. Squeezing as high up as it can. Lower that front heel down, cartwheel your hands around the left foot. 
turn onto the right toes, bring your left leg back, see if you can keep it lifted. Exhale, three leg chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just pause in your down dog for three rounds of the breath. We've got one more sequence on each side, but we're going to be switching up a little bit. Gaze between the hands, it's the right foot again this time. Right foot steps forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. This time we turn onto the back toes and we take it into three leg plank. So draw your right leg back. Keep it lifted for three, two, one. Right foot between the hands. Inhale, warrior one, back heel drops down. It's going to help work on your step throughs. We've got three more. Exhale. Three legged plank. Hold it strong. Three, two, one. Right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Hands down. Three legged plank. Point the toes. Hold it strong. Three two one step forward inhale warrior one we've got one more hands down high plank keep your right leg lifted point the toes and we're squeezing into our right glute for ten nine eight seven six stay strong five four, three, two, one, right foot forward, inhale warrior one, well done, hands to the heart center, we're shifting back into warrior three, take your time, find your balance six times, moving with the breath, exhale deep bend into the standing knee, we're sinking into the hip crease, we're resting onto the thigh. You're pressing back up as you inhale. That's one. Exhale takes you down for two. Pause at the bottom. And inhale, press back up for two. Lower down for three. Exhale. And press back up for three. Halfway, three more. Lower down for four. Hold it at the bottom and press back up for four lower down for five pause it and press back up for five last one lower down for six and hold you've got five four low as you can go three two one press back up we hold it last time five four lifting out of the hip crease three two one step back into your warrior two on your right side sink all the way down we go straight into a little bend and extends so really sinking into that front knee and then extending and we're going to do 20 again Five more, five, four, three, two, one, sink and hold it into our heel lifts for 20. Let everything stay still but that heel. You've got five, four, 
three, two, one. Keep it lifted, flip the front palm. Inhale to reverse. Keep squeezing up that right heel, sinking into the hips. Cartwheel the hands around your right foot. Turn onto the left toes, draw your right leg back, keep it lifted. Exhale, three leg chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Straighten to our left side, last little flow through. Left foot between the hands. Inhale, warrior one. Hands down, turn onto the back toes. Three legged plank. Hold it strong for three, two, one. Warrior one, inhale. Take it down, exhale. Left leg back. Keep it lifted and strong. Three, two, one. Left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. We've got two more. Exhale down. Three-legged plank. Holding it strong for three, two, one. Left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale. Three-legged plank. We hold and we tap. The top of that left foot to the mat and kick into your left glute. Ten. Nine. Eight. You can do it. Seven. Six. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Hands to the heart. Float it forward. Warrior three. Find your balance. Whew. Find your drishti. We've got six lift and lowers. So on your exhale, deep bend into your standing leg. Sink into that left thigh. And then use that left foot. Push it into the mat as you extend. Exhale. And pause. Inhale, and we pause at the top. Exhale, this is three. Inhale, halfway, exhale. Pause at the bottom. Inhale, pause at the top. Exhale. Inhale. You've got two more, we should feel that left glute working. Exhale, pause it. Inhale, extend. One more. Exhale, this time we hold. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Lift and hold it, pause. You've got five, you can do it. Four, three, Two, one, take it back to warrior two on your left side. So take your time to find that long stance. We're going to straighten to our knee bends, bending and extending. Keep those arms high. Just that front leg moves, you've got 20. Keep going low into that front knee. Five, four, three, two, one. To finish, we've got our heel lifts. Lift and lower, 20. Keep 
keep lifting that heel up as high as it'll go. You've got five, four, three, two, one, lift and hold it. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. You're on those left hip toes, keeping that left heel high. Last time, drop the hands down around your left foot. Turn on to the right toes, three leg chaturanga. Exhale to lower. Inhale, up dog. Drop the knees down. Exhale all the way back. Into your child's pose, well done. Just pause here for some deep breaths, letting your breath find its natural rhythm. One more deep breath and then slowly walk the hands in. Well done. Draw your legs together, let the hands come to the heart center. Take a moment to pause and notice how the body's energy feels. Hopefully more powerful. And although we build a lot of strength in the body through our warriors, we also we open up into the hips. So we should be feeling a little looser in that hip area and as though we've released some tension from the body. Thank yourself for taking this time out to practice, dedicating it to not just the physical body, but most importantly to the mind. Bow the head to the heart. Namaste.